Morning guys. A little bit of a different video today. I'm inside. I don't feel hot. So I'm not going out to do anything today. Probably tomorrow. <sighs> Sipping coffee. But I wanted to try something that I saw a couple of times on YouTube. But this is the first time I'm trying it out. So we're going to be doing a kind of a four season tent backpacking expedition uh, in the end of January for four days. And I don't have any backpacking food. Uh, I usually buy the mountain house stuff, but I got this new dehydrator uh, last Christmas actually. And I've been using it a lot for jerky, but I've never used it to dehydrate food and I need to do it. Figured today being a sick day, being inside, it's the perfect opportunity. So we buy this stuff by the case. I think it ends up turning out to be like 80 or 90 cents uh, a can when you buy it by the case. So a lot cheaper than a $5 mountain house. And this is actually probably more servings, more uh, substance than a mountain house has in it. Don't get me wrong, mountain houses are good, but if I can make my own dehydrated food, um, I'm way better off that way. This is just the first shot at dehydrating something, and I figured if I ruin it somehow or mess it up, then it's just 89 cents. Whatever. So, I got all day today. I know it takes like four or five hours or more to dehydrate something like this. I'm only doing one can. In my dehydrator I could probably do five cans, but I'm only doing one for now just to, to see, you know, what happens. So, as you can see, here's the normal shelf. This is what you'd use with jerky or fruit or whatever. But then here is a sleeve that goes over it. That's mesh. I know people use wax paper too, but this actually has the small holes in it, and I think this chili is thick enough that I'll be able to use this, and, and the sauce won't drip off. But if the sauce does drip off, one under one layer underneath it, I'm putting the solid fruit leather tray, and then that way, if the sauce drips off, it'll catch onto this, and I can just wash it. The dehydrator only comes with one of these little. Uh, tray liners so chances are if I make more than one piece or more than one can of something chili or whatever that I'll probably use parchment paper because I don't really feel like spending money and buying a bunch of those but anyway just put this out onto the rack here See, it's not super juicy, it's thick. But I'd imagine there's probably going to be some juice dripping through the tray. And then I know once it starts to get dry, you can actually come in here with like a spatula underneath and flip all of the pieces around. But since this is a, a, a screen and not just a solid piece of parchment, it should get air from underneath and from on top too. So, look at. So I just kept the parchment paper underneath it to transfer it into here. You can see there's a little bit of juice that got on the parchment. Oh, and it is gonna drip some juice on the uh, on this plastic piece underneath. But what we want to do is turn the bad boy on here we want a temperature of 158 is fine I might go down one to 149 somebody said 150 if there's meat in the chili and then close the door as for the timer I'm just gonna leave it at 10 hours because I'm gonna be checking it pretty much all day so we'll go ahead and uh, We'll go ahead and take a look at that here in the next few hours and I'll bring you along with me. Okay, so it has been 
two and a half hours. Definitely still a lot of moisture in there, but it's getting there. So I am a little concerned. It's getting dry, but I'm a bit concerned that the uh, the sauce is just like getting lost in the little holes. I'm afraid that that's going to make it really bland. So when I flip this, I'm going to actually put it, try to flip it onto this solid sheet and get as much of the sauce and stuff out of this sheet as I can onto this solid one. But I think it's time to turn it over, so let's try it out here. I've got my two sheets. I have the solid one here and this one here. And what I'm going to do is just basically put this one over the top of it. That. And then flip it. Kinda. See, there's a lot of sauce on that grain. So, already a learning experience for me. Should have just done it on the solid sheet and not on this grated piece here because all this dried up stuff that's left on this sheet is sauce and it's just going to make it turn out really uh, plain if I can't get this sauce to, you know, go back on there. Hey guys, sorry I uh, wasn't able to check in with you concerning the chili, but it looks like today I'm going to probably go out for a winter bike ride uh, slash picnic and I was thinking about trying it out but anyway here's the finished product um, it took about nine hours to become completely dry to where I felt comfortable that it was dry all the way through the beans were not squishy so I'm a little concerned that I lost some of the sauce putting it on that uh, kind of grated piece as opposed to just putting it on the solid piece or, or on uh, wax paper so we'll see how it works out though I'm gonna bring it out to the field with me to the bush with me today on my uh, backpack bike ride in the park so uh, this video will just be a little precursor and next time or here in a little bit I'll see you out there